Today we look at gestational diabetes and the treatment of it. We will look at the metformin today. We know that insulin is the best treatment for gestational diabetic patients because we can titrate the dose limitless. Metformin is the second, second best option because here we have a tablet, we can give 500 milligram, for example, or 850 milligram once daily, or if needed, then we can give it twice daily. So that means that we cannot give 550 or 600 or 650, we can only give 500 or 850. Insulin, in the other hand, we can give one unit, two unit, three unit, limitless amount of units and that is the benefit of insulin one of them the other benefit is that it has the lowest risk of hypoglycemia so the side effect of having a low glucose in the blood meaning less than 60 milligram per deciliter that's lowest with insulin as we know metformin can cause hypoglycemia rather low risk so metformin is pretty good it's a very very good tablet is a very good medication. Gluberide is another medication that is also good if we have side effects or contraindications against metformin. And these two together have similar side effect of hypoglycemia, which is a little bit higher than insulin. So what happens now? We want to give metformin and we start with metformin because the pregnant woman does not want to inject because that's the difference between insulin and tablets of metformin because insulin is injected metformin is given tablet form so the pregnant woman is uh, having troubles with injections we start with oral tablets of metformin and unfortunately 30 percent of cases will need met insulin anyway that's the problem with metformin or other tablets but the pregnant woman will tell you that but I will maybe be in the 70%, so I will take the risk. We start with metformin and then in 70% of cases, we can follow through with metformin during the whole pregnancy and we don't need any insulin. That's the good thing about it. So how does uh, uh, metformin work? Let's look at the mechanism. We have then a reduced output from the liver of glucose. So glucose is reduced output from the liver. And also it will increase the sensitivity of insulin, increased insulin sensitivity, which is very important for us in diabetes. Gluberide, on the other hand, will increase and stimulate the insulin secretion. So this is the difference between metformin. In metformin increase the insulin sensitivity, gluberide will increase the insulin secretion. So that's the two main differences. Why do we use gluberide? As we said, today we're discussing metformin. Yes, but if we have side effects and contraindications, contraindications being intrauterine growth restriction of metformin, that is meaning that the growth of the baby is restricted. And if you see this correlation that we have a pregnant woman, they, there is problem with the pregnancy because the pregnant woman is having an intrauterine growth restriction. And we see that the pregnant woman is taking metformin then that can be the cause of it. So we need to stop metformin. It's a contraindication. And therefore we need to give insulin or gluberide instead. And this is when gluberide comes in mind. Okay, so gluberide can then be given 2.5 milligram uh, in the beginning or up to 10 milligram, no, up to 20 milligram maximum. So 2.5 to 20 milligram, this is the span. Then the side effects of metformin, we don't only have contraindications, we have side effects like metallic taste, nausea, abdominal discomfort, diarrhea, and even mild anorexia can be seen with metformin. And if you see any of these and the, patient, the pregnant woman uh, hates these symptoms, she don't want to do it, she wants to switch to another medication, then gluberide comes in mind, as we said. Then what type of group does this contain? Metformin is a B-guanide group, it's called, and uh, gluberide is contained in second generation sulfonylurea. Sulfonylurea is a very old drug, a very old medication, but the second generation is the newer type. This is the gluberide. And uh, uh, both of these have side effects of hypoglycemia. We talked about this already. So hypoglycemia being one. The, the, these two medications are not really good to be used together. So these two should not be used together. If you want to combine a medication, you should combine metformin with insulin or gluberide with insulin. And the other thing that is not good to do, uh, no, the other thing that is important to tell the mother is that this can cross, both metformin and gluberide can cross the placenta into the 
fetus, meaning it goes through the blood into the placenta, into the fetus. The short-term effects of these are nothing. This is very good, they're safe. But the long-term effects, we, are, we have no clue because we didn't do such a long study. Uh, the research is ongoing. So this is pretty much it. We don't need to discuss more about metformin. We'll do that in other videos. Today, we, I wanted to focus on the gestational diabetes part, the tr treatment of it, meaning insulin is the best, then metformin comes next. And the third, we can use a gluberide. So thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.